let's go to the lines. Let's go and speak to John Boy, who's a gooner. John, good evening and well done and uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, mate. Are you you uh, you at the game today? Yeah, no. Oh, you went? I'm just, oh, you're... oh, yeah, no, I'm just on my way back. You're on your way back. Okay. What what was that, what was that like? No, brilliant atmosphere. Um, I think that the stadium's buzzing. The club's on a high. I think that we're. Um, I think that we got a chance. You've got more than a chance. I mean, you, you, no one's on top of the table at this stage of the season unless you're doing something right. Yeah, and, but and... Arsenal have got a habit of being up there and and no, and screwing no, up, so. no, they haven't. Um, but all we can do is based on what we've seen so far. Now, I still think if I had to put a pound of candy money, I would. I would still go City only because of the pedigree. Not based in, you know, guys. and they, and that's the reason they've got a manager that knows how to win it. They've got players that know how to win it. They're, they're, and they're, they've done it before. They've had yeah. to go toe to toe, win every single game, or lose yeah. a league you're not, before. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But at the same time, this season we've added some players. <clears throat> we've added obviously two players that have got a habit of winning the league. I mean Zinchenko on, when he was when he was warming up at the side of the pitch, he was he was shouting at the fans. He was getting the fans up for it. Mm. He wasn't even involved in the game yet. You know, we, we, we've got we've got a real feel about us, and it, it's it's just something that I haven't felt at the club for for, for fifteen years. Yeah, yeah. John, does um, the fixtures that are remaining for you guys, like the your next seven fixtures, do, do none of them scare you? If, if you you know lose one of them, will the will the uh, when the wheels start to fall off because you've got some big teams? You've got a London derby, which we know can go anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. you just got to play Man City as well. You got to play Newcastle under, underneath you, and some of these are back to back as well. They are, yeah, they are. I think I think that this um, this January transfer window is going to be incredibly important. Mm. I think that if we can go out there and add a player, I mean, and Ketia did really well today. He played well. He always puts one hundred and fifty percent into every single game. But I still don't think that he is a title winning striker. But I think if we were to go out there and get a striker who can who can bang in, you know. 15 goals in the rest of the season. Honestly, I think I think we really we really do stand an excellent chance of finishing above City. And it's not you know Newcastle with respect to Newcastle, they've done well. I don't think they're going to. I don't think they are in a title challenge. You don't think they're I'm in really a title challenge. You, you don't think no, they're going to maintain this 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 this, no, this, this run that they're on, or and you know picking up results and again they, them themselves. You know they've got backed by a, a great an investor who's willing to spend money. And if they go in the transfer market and strengthening as well, do you not think that they can challenge you? Because they're the they nearest do, rivals yeah. at the moment. Uh, they are. Yeah, they are. I still don't. I still don't see it. I don't know why. You're pooing them, aren't you? You just poo pooed them, John. <laughs> if you poo poo Newcastle. Sorry, Jordy. He's poo. He's poo. Well, listen. The second, John. Thanks for the call. Safe journey. I'm America's Cheers, Christmas. Joe, Marcus, um, mate. Look, Newcastle currently can they play the game more than, than Arsenal and two games more than Man City. So looking at that, you would suggest that they perhaps will go into that third position once all games are played. But they'll be. I think most Newcastle. But then they've fans, got to play Arsenal as well. They still have to play Newcastle. Play Arsenal, they and do. That can be a six point that, swing. That's, that's that's the beginning of next month. That's the third. I think. Yep. I think that's, the, that's the. That's the. Oh, it's third of January. Is it yeah, January? Third of January. Yeah. Third so of that's January. Next week. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Let's go and speak to Anthony, who's uh, a hammer. He's not a happy hammer though. Anthony, good evening. Merry Christmas. Evening, boys. Merry Christmas. How are we both? Well, good, thank I'm, you. I'm okay. How was your Christmas? Well, well, it was good until tonight. Yeah. How was your Boxing Day? <laughs> That's uh, harsh. Look, to be honest Sorry, with you, mate. I'm not going to lie, boys. It was, it was, and I think from a, the West Ham fans I was chatting to at the game, it was, it was fairly expected. Actually, I mean, I don't want to be, I don't want to be that person who uh, who thinks these kind of things. But ultimately, it was, it was disaster, wasn't it? I, I'm, um, I'm one of those. I do go to a lot of games, an awful lot. But I left tonight at 65 minutes because there was never a doubt in my mind that that game was going to. Oh, really? end exactly the way it did mm. and um even even when we scored it was for west ham normally you'd expect you know absolutely to go wild but it was somewhat subdued and for me and you're going to go oh yeah but look what moise has done but mm. do you know that's moise's 70th game 7-0 against a top four team away from home his entire career where he hasn't won a single game not one did you know that well we're doing now pa. great stat it's a hell of a stat, that. And you look, you look at Antonio as our only backup striker tonight to play. Now, Antonio's been pretty poor now for quite a while. If he's what you're relying on to play up front with Skamaka, who's still unproven, Paqueta has is, is got to be world-class or very close to it if he's a Brazilian starter a lot of the time. He looks awful for us. Dawson wants to leave. Soufal's rumoured to go for oh, $6 million, And that's, 
that's what we're, they're the players that we're starting against against a very good Arsenal team. And this is a team that spent 170 million. Yes, it's true. Now, I'm not knocking Moyes, but if you look at Oh, you are. Last so year, definitely are. And you're definitely knocking well, him. Uh, I am, oh, I am you, knocking you are, Moyes. I'm not knocking him, what okay. he's done, don't no, get me wrong. Okay. But it, it kind of frustrates me when people go, oh, look, he's, look how well he's done. It's the same for me personally with Southgate. I think Southgate's done a good job, but I think with the squad we've now got in England, we could be doing better. And I just look now and, and I think it's about time really that he left. And we've got Brentford next. And I'm telling you now, we never do very well against Brentford. They're not a bad team. And then we're away to Leeds. And both of these are difficult oh, games for us. Gosh, and yeah. you just think... I mean, bear in mind, teams below us who have spent probably not a penny luck compared to what we have, like Southampton, they already got rid of their bosses. Other teams have done it. And yet we're somehow give them another three games. Should have gone before this six-week break and got someone in. Because yeah. at the moment... If you're not in the bottom three, you might get a manager with some credibility. As soon as you're in the bottom three, Sam Allardyce's name starts throwing up there, or Sean Dyke. Yeah. And, and again, no disrespect to either of them. But do you, do you think that yeah, you know when he when he when he when he took, took over, it was he, he got you know up the table into Europe, um, and then now the, the the last two well the last season really, it's it's been. Kind of terrible. It's, a, it's been a big drop. A cal- As, is, is, is the reality? Is he related like checked in now? Is this? I is this where? Cal- sorry, go on. Is this go where on. He, he's, he's taking you? It was, it was like a honeymoon, a massive long honeymoon period, and now reality's checked in. It's over. Honeymoon's over. It's, it's this is what what you've you've got, and this is you know the, the best you're going to get from David Moyes I, now. I think he's a very good manager with a team or a budget that's not very good. I think that's his strong point. I think when he was at Everton, if you remember, he consistently got fifth or sixth. That was when the days of the big four. So he was the best of the rest. And now the rest is a lot. You've got Newcastle, you've got, you've got six, seven, eight teams now that are very good. So all of a sudden, ninth or tenth is almost a good position with him. Except for the fact... He's Relegation? A lot of- Are you going to get relegated? I, I think well, if you can't mention the R word. No, can't mention the R. Million, One point. I genuinely don't think we'd be a million miles off it with him in charge. We've not played a lot of what you would class as winnable games at the moment, and we've been losing. And it's not that we've lost to all the best teams. Mm. We've lost to some some teams that are, I don't want to be disrespectful to them that are arguably beatable teams already. I mean, Brentford at home on paper is a very winnable game in theory, but I watched them today against Tottenham, and they look very good. Ivan Tony loves scoring against us, and you're thinking, well. And let me tell you, without Declan Rice, a hundred percent we would be relegated this year. It's only it's Declan Rice. He's going to end of the me. season. Why are you saying well, that to him? Why are you saying that to him? Just to no, make no, sure. No, no, he he's, 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 he's definitely gone at the end of this. He's definitely gone at the end of the season. Yeah, he's gone. I think we all. We, and to be honest, as a West Ham fan, I really don't blame the guy. What he's, he's, he's for me, he's the best player we've had in our team for a very long time. And and what he's sitting around and carrying the team fourth bottom, and we're only fourth bottom. Because well, listen, here's the, just before you go, Ant. Right. So the games you mentioned, you're right. You have got Brentford um, next time up. Then you then you've got Leeds United away. Then you've got teams around you. You've got Wolves and then Everton. I mean, we'll know we'll know whether Everton, sorry, we'll whether West Ham are going to be in a relegation fight by the end of Jan. Because if you if you can't if you don't pick up, oh my God, I'm starting to think. Can you go to Wolves and get a result? If Everton beat you as well, oh, you do fear you, you do fear for yeah, the safety yeah. of, of Moyes. It's chop chop time then. So can I mean, we we mention the R word and relegation? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't think we're at the R word yet. Right. But not, I, no? I can tell you. I don't, look, I, but then again, we, but this is the issue I have with quite a lot of, um, of, of people who say, you know, well, West Ham, we shouldn't even be close to the relic. We spent 170 million. We finished mm, sixth mm. and seventh. Why are we even looking at, if, if it was... Will top, he last till January? And is I'm it going to last till January? Oh God, January's only next week. Yeah, I know. Oh end of January. Will he be there? End of January. Uh, no, I, well, they said he had three. Uh, if the rumours are true, he had three games. We've lost the first. Right. Um, and I don't think I don't even give much longer because, like I said, if you're in a relegation battle, you can rule out any manager that I think could do. Because I, I do think that it's a setup. He plays a certain way. I mean, Haller, for instance, Haller was was has been superb in Europe. He was diabolical at us, diabolical. And um, Paqueta, he comes with good credence. Scamacca, apparently, a lot of people when we signed him or I knew him follow Italian football. This is a decent player. He's not a shadow of what he was, or he's certainly not a shadow at the moment. Mm. You can only you've got to point the finger somewhere at, oh. for these for these players. And no, I'm not. Go on, bud. No, no, I, no, no I've, I've got to go to another another caller. So listen, pr- appreciate that. Um, I feel his pain. Feel there's he, a lot of pain in there. There's, isn't there's there? a lot of anger, a lot of pain. Wow. Speaking of anger and pain. Let's go okay. and speak to an Everton fan. Oh. It's Shawnee, as Daldo, 37172233. Double four, Shawnee. 
How you doing, mate? I, I'm okay. Now, you just heard that, that West Ham fan. This is, we're going to call you back, Sean. It's a terrible line. I keep, I keep doing a bit... Bit of, bit of feedback. We'll, we'll get back. We'll get you back after the break, Shawnee. Um, keep the, uh, the calls coming. Love to hear from from Man City fans after what you saw tonight and what you've seen so far this season. Are there any concerns that maybe Arsenal just will not go away? I think there should be. 